the next station I want to look at are these containers of Krypton gas. Now, I'm going to be honest, there isn't Krypton gas in here. But if there was, it's actually pretty valuable. You would want to have it sealed. Every single one of these graduated cylinders has some foil on the top of it to represent that it is closed. So, we cannot open any of these. Well, here's the thing. We need to know what the mass of Krypton gas is in here. And that provides a few issues. One, if we wanted to figure out the volume, we could just fill it up entirely with water all the way to the top and then rinse it out. Measuring how much water you took out of it, you could easily find the volume of gas and then convert it to the grams. However, because Krypton gas would, again, exhale out, we would lose the gas in the process. So that doesn't really work. And like you've seen earlier in the lab, if I weigh this, you have no idea of knowing what the weight of the gas inside is versus the actual graduated cylinders. So how the heck are we gonna figure out the mass inside the of the gas inside the container if we can't open it and sadly, if we can't weigh it? Well, we can actually use a little bit of math. Given it right above this uh, video is the volume of a cylinder, the math equation. Now I know some of you might be thinking, oh no, geometry again. But you know what? It can actually do some really good things. So for us to find the volume, we are going to assume that these are perfect cylinders. For that reason, we are not going to do this one as the example because of this beveled edge. This one has a really big lip. I would say these two are our best bet. And I say we go big or go home. So we're gonna practice out on this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the height of the cylinder. And I'm gonna do that for you all so you can write and record that information. So you might wanna write this down somewhere. The height is 16 point five inches. Now, as you know, inches, that's not really going to help us. We need to make sure that we're in centimeters. So let's look at this maybe again in centimeters. In centimeters, which is what we care about, this is 42 centimeters exactly, 42.0 centimeters. The radius. That's what we need next. And the radius, again, half the diameter, is three and a half centimeters. Across this diameter is seven centimeters, so three and a half centimeters is the radius. Now that you have the radius and the height, you're able to use the formula pi r squared h in order to figure out the volume. Once you figure out the volume of the Krypton gas, you're able to convert to moles of Krypton gas, which will allow you then to answer the question, how many grams of Krypton gas are inside that container? Again, don't be afraid to ask your teachers for help on this one. This one's a little more complicated, but I assure you, if you were actually in class, this one would have been a lot of fun.